The Congress has demanded complete transparency in the India-US deal for MQ-9B drones, alleging that the 31 drones were being procured for a higher price, as witnessed in the 36 Rafale deal. The Congress has questioned that why no Cabinet Committee on Security meeting was held to approve the MQ-9B deal, which is similar to what happened in Rafale deal. And these drones are in America? These are the drones that are outdated technology. Hai. छप्पन दशमलव पांच मिलियन अमेरिकन डॉलर्स में अगर अपन उसको बेस प्राइस मान लें हालांकि स्पेन ने उससे भी कम में लिया है छियालीस दशमलव पचहत्तर मिलियन डॉलर में लिया है हम 110 मिलियन डॉलर का खरीद रहे हैं तो पच्चीस हजार करोड़ का लगभग इसमें घपला हो रहा है The Defense Ministry has trashed the reports on the price as well as the acquisition process, as India is yet to finalize the cost and specific terms of purchase of 31 MQ-9B drones, and it will examine the best price offered by the US manufacturer to other nations before concluding the procurement. Ahead of the official announcement of 26 Rafale Marine procurement from France next month, the French government has indicated its readiness to send some Rafale Marine aircraft from its Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier to India for training Indian Navy pilots, and Dassault Aviation has offered to carry out repairs on board INS Vikrant aircraft carrier, and on ground at INS Hansa in Goa, and will also establish a maintenance repair and overhaul hub in India. Since 36 Rafale F-3R standard fighter jets are already operated by the Air Force, the training programs for the pilots and the ground crew will not be an additional cost. Prime Minister Modi will attend this year's Bastille Day Parade in France as the guest of honor, in which three Rafale fighter jets of the Indian Air Force will take part in the fly-past in Paris on 14 July. According to a media report, the Indian Air Force has set its sights on acquiring 108 Tejas Mark II fighter jets which will be equipped with the locally manufactured F-414 engine, but the order book will expand to 200 units with the development of an improved variant of the Tejas Mark IIa variant. The report also said that the improved variant is yet to receive an official designation that will be equipped with a new 110 kN engine, as well as fifth-generation avionics and system from the AMCA program, which will ensure that the aircraft is fully compatible and well-equipped to operate alongside the AMCA. At a time when the Indian Army is planning to order 100 more K-9 Vajra howitzers for high-altitude regions and 100 more for Western Front, South Korea's Hanwha Group has presented its upgraded K-9A2 howitzer to the Indian Army, that features increased striking capability, rapid shoot and scoot operations to enhance survivability and extend battlefield coverage. The new variant features an advanced full-automatic turret and crew safety equipment, and implementation of composite rubber tracks with weight reduction, that offers enhanced mobility in various trains, increased top speed, reduced noise and vibrations and lower fuel consumption. Hanwha Ocean, formerly known as Duwu Ship Building, has expressed its interest in participating in India's Project 75i submarine project and has offered its KSS-3 Batch 2 submarine equipped with fuel cell-based AIP technology and advanced energy storage system technology. The ESS technology can be integrated into the submarine's battery pack that would enhance the performance and operational capabilities of the submarine. The KSS-3 Batch 2 features increased number of vertical launching cells for submarine-launched cruise missiles.